The Eastern Oregon Cannabis Festival sounds a lot like a beer festival, featuring music, food, but one of the most interesting things about the first ever festival here at the fairgrounds will be the education aspect. We will be having some fantastic vendors that have come out to show us products that we haven't seen before. Stormy Ray suffers from multiple sclerosis and says that cannabis has helped her manage the pain of this debilitating disease. And because of a caring friend sharing something that I didn't know about, I'm still here and I love what I get to do every day. And now Ray is spearheading the first cannabis festival in Ontario. After voters approved an ordinance legalizing recreational marijuana dispensaries within city limits. Well, it's like the wild, wild west. There'll be more cannabis available than has ever been before. And we're hoping to get the education out there to people. The festival falls on 420. Last year, we traveled to Huntington on the marijuana holiday and discovered lines that were out the door. But a majority of the license plates at the dispensaries were from Idaho, where marijuana remains illegal in all its forms. A bill that would have legalized hemp died in the legislature. Your legislatures and um, your governor needs to know this is something that people need. So come on over, Idaho and learn a whole lot more. And I spoke with city councilman Freddie Rodriguez who told me the city is already looking at ways to allocate money that will be generated from legal marijuana dispensaries here in Ontario. They don't know how much and they don't know when the first dispensary will be open, but it'll be sometime around May 1st. Steve Dent, six on your side.